At the start of a week that may determine his future, Boris Johnson was in another hospital. This time, Milton Keynes talking about how sometimes there's little margin for error. I wouldn't trust myself. To get, you know, you've got to get it right in the right place, haven't you? He's talking about vaccines. Others are talking about mistakes he may have made. And this might be a new one. Conservative MP Nusrat Ghania said she was told she was fired as a minister in 2020, partly because she was a Muslim. And she says she told the Prime Minister about it at the time. So why only now is there an investigation? We take these allegations extremely seriously. I took them uh, very seriously when they were raised with me 18 months ago. Very glad there's uh, an investigation uh, taking place now. Can't say more really about it. Today, Nusrat Ghani's put a statement on social media saying, now is not the time I would have chosen for this to come out, and I've pursued every avenue and process I thought available to me, but many people have known what happened. All I've ever wanted was for his government to take this seriously. Back in 2020, Boris Johnson advised she should make a formal complaint to the Conservative Party, but others say that was never good enough. These issues are very serious. You can't just sideline them and say, make a complaint. No, that is ignoring what she's saying. And do you think and that's what the Prime Minister did? Well, I don't know. I mean, question is if he did, and I don't think it was appropriate action for him to be to, to take. It's quite a week for Boris Johnson, as well as the claims from Nusrat Ghani. Another of his MPs, William Ragg, is meeting the police to talk about alleged intimidation and blackmail by government whips. And we expect the report from senior civil servant Sue Gray on the alleged parties at number 10 during lockdown. The opposition are waiting to see if there's going to be a real challenge. I am just hoping that those Conservative MPs will develop the backbone to ensure we don't have this Prime Minister in place because he is failing at every level. With these robots, Boris Johnson saw a vision of the future of surgery today. He should know more about his own future by the end of the week.